Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. In the last episode, we sorted out the Arashok's little problem. However, it seems that problems with the Kunari are rather like Hydra's. You sort one problem out, two more sprout straight back in its place, and I think Amelia is all Kunari'd out. She does not want to spend any more time with them right now. They can wait. So what are we doing today? I have made a new list, uh, madam, if you would excuse me. And our first stop is the bar. Of course it is. We need a drink. The Arashok has drained us. We need all of the alcohol. I also learned that um, the chat Varric wants to have with us, it's not the one I was thinking it was, so I, I will be talking with him today. Now then, Isabella, I have a gift for you. I have something for you. Ooh, what's this? Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing? Hmm. A cute, really? It's a, it's a boat. Baby animals are cute ships not so much thank you hawk this was a thoughtful gesture oh isabella it's a-okay oh oh i think i think that's maxed out her friendship we are getting very close with maxing out friendships and rivalries i'm pretty sure the only people we haven't maxed out are sebastian Fenris and Anders. I'm pretty sure that's it. So okay. What do you believe, Mel? Our gods abandoned us long ago. They haven't answered our prayers since the fall of Arlathan. When we've proven that we're elves again, that we didn't lose everything, they'll come back to us. We say the same of the Maker. Perhaps they're only different names for the same divine force that created the world. The Maker wants you to be elves? I do like Meryl's logic there. I, I will say, I don't like how Sebastian is slowly trying to convert the companions. Let them, like, Amelia approves, me the player, I do not approve. Let someone have a different religion to you. It's, it's really not that big of a deal. I do like Meryl's comeback there. Oh, the maker wants you to be elves. Okay, then I'm, oh, Meryl, good for you. You tell him, girl. God damn it, Sebastian. And Varric. You have got to hear this, Hawk. There's this tale making the rounds. They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. Is is that really it? That the no dragons, no griffins mentioned in the tale? Don't the stories mention my stunning good looks? What about my cunning wit? Nope. They skip straight to the part about the lovable dwarf with the gorgeous crossbow and the heart of gold. I try to steer them straight, but you know how stories go. Just don't be surprised if people seem in awe. Hmm. Why tell stories? What do you get out of this? Why am I the hero? That, I think, is exactly what Amelia is thinking. Amelia is the least heroic person person she knows. At least in her mind, she isn't brave. To be a hero, you need to be brave. And Amelia spends her life in a constant state of fear. And also, if you were to ask her, why are you doing all of this stuff? She'd probably say, oh, it's the maker's will. You know, she's not really doing anything heroic. She's just, you know, making sure that the maker's work goes ahead and all of that. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to be the main character in these tall tales of yours? There's a recipe to a good hero, Hawk. It's like alchemy. One part down to earth, one part selfless nobility, two parts crazy, and you season liberally with wild falsehoods. You let that percolate through a good audience for a while, and when it's done, you've got your hero. Also, I don't think Amelia is necessarily comfortable with Varric spinning her into this 
you know, amalgamation of herself, if that makes sense. You know, these stories get bigger and bigger and people tell their friends and they change the story a little bit and then they tell their friends and it just gets bigger and bigger until eventually, you know, Amelia can't even really see herself in them. And I think that does make her a little bit uncomfortable that there are people around Kirkwall talking about her. She likes to joke about it with Varric, but I don't think she approves. Hello. You're right, sir. I saw you then. Um, hmm. Why tell them? What compels you to spin these ridiculous tales? Oh, I love the sound of my own voice. And I'm a compulsive liar. Honestly, I don't know. It's just something I do. There's power in stories, though. That's all history is. The best tales, the ones that last. Might as well be mine. Oh, Varric. That's such a good line. I find it hard to believe you're spreading these stories without getting something in return. Well, that just shows what you know, Hawk. The stories are their own reward. You really need to see the look on someone's face when I tell them you ripped the arms off an ogre. <laughs> Just once. Hmm, maybe. If you, if you dramatically alter Amelia's appearance in these stories, maybe give her black hair and like a smear of blood over her nose, then she might be willing to sit in the back and listen, you know, with no one knowing it's her. But otherwise, I, I don't think she'd be too interested in listening. I guess all works. A little reverence wouldn't hurt, though. You're beautiful, deadly, and hang out with fantastic dwarves. It would be a crime if people didn't talk about you. Anyway, I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. Aw, oh, buddy. Best friend. Varric's such a good dude. I love him. Yes? Uh, Face it, you don't pay me enough to stay sober at work. Oh, oh, okay, I'm guessing the boss was accusing her of drinking on the job. Now then, what are we doing next? Um, okay, on my list, I've written that we're gonna take down the final gang. I just kind of want to take care of some miscellaneous quests before, um, I hop into any of the companion missions. Um, Aveline, Varric, and Meryl, yep, this is the group we're going with. And you do have a level, my dear. Okay. Um, let's go to Cunning One Dex. And have some of that. Lovely jubbly. Now then, we we drink at the bar until nightfall. Uh, we don't... Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's Descent. Oh, dear. Oh, and Mirror Image. Oh, <laughs> So many things, so many wonderful, wonderful things. Also, apparently I have mail. Oh God. This, this is the point. Oh, uh, what makes the gang so angry at night? Someone should do something about them. Uh, we will, we will, hello. Oh, they have my baris. Oh guys, no. You made mistakes. And the There we go, come on, get him. Okay, everyone's doing a-okay for health. Dog lords, aww. Guys, you're giving us Ferelden as a bad name. Could you not? Could you please not be criminals like the Kirk Wallers fear? Okay, back the puppy, there we go. And you. Oh, I... It's sad taking out the Mabari. They were innocent in all of this, but they had bad owners. Okay, you're down. Okay, everyone's still doing A-OK -okay for health. Okay. Last couple, I think. Come out. There we go. Good stuff. Did any of you drop anything? Uh, buddy? Buddy, are you okay? Okay, that's that's just some random guy. Got it, okay. 
just picking through the garbage. Oh, is, is there a fight over there? Ah, oh, it's none of my business. Great. Mm. No one's hanging. Oh, that's a that's a prostitute. Sorry, madam. We'll we'll leave you be. Yeah, there's no one hanging around up here except for the hooker. And oh, you dropped something. Thank you. How kind. Oh, God damn. You're identi identical twin prostitutes? That's what I'm gonna go with. It's not the game being lazy or Varric not knowing how to describe anything. Those are identical twins. Facts. Hello? No one back here. Really, we should just follow the sound of, you know, dogs barking. Because, let's be honest, Mabari aren't exactly quiet. They're a very loud breed. I mean, you can hear Danes panting from, like, a mile away. Oh, hello. Uh, I'll be with you in a minute. A uh, yoink. Okay, go, go, go. And haste. And bugger off. There we go. Okay, take him out. Who's up? Who's up there? there it's gotta be Barry. Barry, why did you go around that way? Don't don't question him. He's a he's a very talented dwarf. There you go. Everyone's still doing a okay for health. Come on, get him. Almost down. There we go, and... Oh, no, wait, there is... There is still a guy back there. Okay, now, help out Farrick. No, how dare you bugger off. There we go. Stop stabbing me. Okay, and... And Meryl. Ooh, you know what? Uh, give her a heal. There we go. It's a bit unnecessary, but we might as well. Okie doke, that's them dealt with. Oh, hello. So that, yeah, that's Samson still, still chilling out in this area. God damn it, Samson. I said this when, um, when I was doing, uh, Fainriel's mission in Act 1. Amelia does feel badly for Samson. He is an ex-Templar. He's got this lyrium addiction that he's dealing with and, you know, he can't find any employment. He's having to live on the streets. That is exceptionally sad, but as an ex-Templar, he should know better than... Oh, oh, hello. You're right. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, he should know better than to be, you know, sending these mages away from the circle and... Selling them to slavers especially, it's just wrong. Now, who are we attacking? You! Okay, get him! Okay, almost down. Puppy is still up. And you! Go on, Dane, get him! Yes! Okay, oh, next wave! Everyone is still doing okay. Well, Varric's looking a bit low, but I think he's okay for now. Now, bugger off. Bugger off, puppies. Okay, Varric. Varric is fine. He's a-okay. Okay, and you? Just two left. There we go. Oh, oh, God. God, that poor dog. A delayed whimper. Oh, so sad. Now then, a uh, yoink. Thank you kindly. I'm a little bit wary. Literally, this is why I'm wary of fighting people in this area. They'll spawn up there. And then they won't come and fight you. And then you spend like three hours running around Lowtown thinking, why won't any more gangs spawn in? It's because of this dickhead right here. You. Oh, you thought you could escape, but you can't. There is no escape. 
There we go. I should probably pop in and see Gamlin, shouldn't I? Oop, do 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 do. No, around, around the rock. Uh, this is mine now. Ooh, rock armor potion recipe. Thank you. I, I didn't realize that was there. Um, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll pop in and see if Gamlin's doing okay. We haven't spoken to him at all in Act 1. Not in Act 1, in Act 2, rather. So, uh, hi, Uncle. So you're moving up in the world? Got some coin to share with your favorite uncle? No. No, I don't. So you're moving up in the world? Got some coin to share with your favorite uncle? At least he's doing okay. To be fair, if Gamlin didn't ask for money, I'd be concerned. I'd be worried that something was up. Yeah, he's he's doing fine. Now then, back to the dog lords. Oh, hello. You're right. Oh, they probably came looking like, what happened to the guys who were in this area? We, we left a bunch of dogs and men and they just disappeared. That's because we killed them. Man. Oh, I do not like this corner. Come on, get him. Okay, and you. Let's move out. There we go. That's better. Okay, come on, take him out. Everyone's doing all right for hell. Come on, get him. No, no, no. No attacking me. There we go. Come on, Amelia. Oh, that, that's kind of... I've only just noticed that animation. The dogs look like they're heaving. Oh, that... I don't like that. That makes me sad. I'm sorry, Poppy. Oh, Bobby. I know it's trying to bite me, but, like, it, it doesn't deserve that. There we go. And you... Okie doke, that's that done. A yoink and a yoink. Now then, is there... Is there anyone dicking about on these higher up bits? No. Okay, good stuff. And once again, we are just going to make our way through Low Town. Anyone hiding in the alienage? Oh, yes, there is. Hello. Paste it up again. And bugger off. There we go. Come on, get him. Is. Ooh, I think, yeah, Dane's gone. So, come back. That's it, puppy. Help out the crew. Uh. No, I don't know. No. Amelia, heal yourself. There we go. Okay, come on. Take him out. And now we help out Dane. Yes, that's it. Oh, third wave. Flipping neck. Where are the dogs coming from? Are the dogs jumping down from the roofs too? I don't, I don't think that's right. I don't think dogs have the, the necessary uh, knee strength. They're not like cats. Cats have very good knees. Dogs less so. Okay, come on. Take him out. Take him out. There we go. Good stuff, guys. Um, and also, that reminds me, I don't believe I've uh, looted the alienage at night, so... Yeah, we got a couple of sacks. I'll be having them. A slave's life. The Book of Shartan. Okay. Good thing I checked down here. I, I wouldn't have known about that otherwise. I, I knew about the gift, but I didn't know where you got it. Okay. Oh, I was um I was very tempted to watch, you know, EA Play, which has it has come and gone at the time of this recording. I'm I'm a little disappointed, you know, that there wasn't any Dragon Age news at the show um here's the thing on one hand 
On one hand, I'm sad that we're... The, the fuck was that noise? I'm, I'm gonna assume it was nothing. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted. Yeah, um, I'm sad that there was no new, you know, stuff to see. I'm really eager to see where the Dragon Age franchise is going. At the same time, I'm glad that they're not rushing. Excuse me, I would like to haste. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm glad that they're not scrambling to get stuff out. I would absolutely hate for them to do what they did with Inquisition and, you know, really stress out the team and, you know, cause so much psychological distress and all that. It, it really wasn't right. Um... I don't necessarily know if I have high hopes for Dragon Age 4. I'll probably love it no matter what, because as I've said many times before, I am Bioware's bitch. I will just enjoy whatever I am presented with. I do have a couple of hopes. One, I there had better be blood magic. There had better be blood magic. We're in Tavinta. So much of... You know, Tavinta's history is, you know, wrapped up in blood magic. It'd be really weird if it wasn't there. Two, I really hope we can make dickhead choices again. In Origins, you could be downright evil with some of the... Ooh, hello. Hometown breed, directions to the Dog Lord's base. We have the kennel all set up in Lowtown. All dog lords will report or I'll clip more than your tails. The bastard. Core, blimey. Oh, what a name. God, I love it. Um, yeah, in, in Origins, you could be evil. Like, properly evil with some of your decisions. In Dragon Age 2, there were a couple of times you could be evil. But... I'd say, for the most part, Hawk was relegated to being a bit of a dickhead. In Inquisition, there are, like, no evil options. You can be rude, you can be mean and aggressive, you can't be evil. And, on one hand, I understand why they did that. You are the Inquisitor. You are leading this global organization. The eyes of Thedas are upon you. If you started doing blood magic and sacrificing children to, like, summon demons and shit, people would be outraged. People would be, you know, would start moving against you. I get the justification. I still didn't really like it. I'm... To be honest, I... I love my Inquisitor. I love my canon Inquisitor. I love all of my Inquisitors. But... When compared to Amelia or Artin, my Inquisitor does fall a little bit short because she is, out of all of them, she is my most paragon of virtue character. And I... I don't really like playing Paragons of Virtue. I like playing characters with flaws, but the game really doesn't let you do that all that much. And so I was kind of forced to have this character who is, you know, very heroic. Don't get me wrong, in comparison, that does make her unique, you know, next to Artin and Amelia. Um, I'm trying to be very careful because I don't, I don't want to tell you my Inquisitor's name until, you know, she pops up. So I'm, I'm having to keep an eye on what I'm saying there. Um, I was actually thinking about this, about, you know, all of my, my canons and, uh, sort of how I describe them. Come on, jump in. Let's go. I love that name, Core Blimey. If you if you aren't familiar with English slang, Core Blimey, it's like saying like wow, oh my god. Not in like a um in kind of a I'd say befuddled way. Like ha like did you see that there's a dog trying to hump a pigeon? Core blimey, you know, that kind of context. Um 
And back to what I was saying about uh, my, my canon characters. I was thinking about how I describe them, and I was kind of thinking about, you know, the, the four elements. You know, fire, earth, wind, and water. Potentially, you know, five, because bearing in mind, Dragon Age, it was, um... Oh, whoops, I cancelled that. Uh, girl, heal yourself, please. There we go. But you're dead. Bugger off. Stop hitting me. There we go. And summon Dane. Come on, Bubba. Help us out. Um, yeah, Dragon Age was originally set up to be a saga, which means five games. So if there are five, then, you know, earth, wind, fire, water, and heart slash the soul. That's always the lame one, though. Let's be honest. That's the one that everyone goes, oh, really? You represent the heart? Mm. Artin obviously represents Earth. More specifically, the stone. She is solid and stable. And she is as beautiful as a diamond, but also as cold as one. She always kept an emotional distance to everything she did. Oh, Varric. Varric, I see you, buddy, but God, there are so many of them. There were just so many. Hasted up, guys. Oh, Nelly, 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 Nelly. Can you heal yourself in time, please? Thank you. Um. Okay, let me let me just focus on this for a second, and then I'll uh, I'll get back to what I was saying. And um, if if people could help out me, that'd be grand. Uh, thank you, Aveline. Aveline is trying to take some of the heat. Ooh, Varric. Group heal. Okay, you. I think we're down to the last three. That's good. Okay, so as I was saying, Artin very obviously represents Earth slash the stone. Oh, oh, guys. I've got you. One last Mabari. Varric, have a heal. Amelia, I think, represents water. She is a tumultuous ocean. She is entirely directed by her emotions. She is not in control of them. And it is constantly storming in Amelia's life. She constantly feels afraid. My Inquisitor... Depending on whether there are, are four or five games, if there are only four, she represents the wind. More specifically, a cooling breeze. If there are five, she represents heart. As I said, she is, she is the least flawed of any of my characters. Not by choice, but because the game was kind of like, you have to play a good guy, so no flaws for you, hero. Sad times. Um... Either way, whether she is representative of uh, wind or heart or whatever, she she was not, how do I put this? She wasn't cut out for becoming the Inquisitor. She spends all of her time trying to keep everyone's spirits up. She was not raised for a leadership position. She really isn't qualified for it, but she's going to do her absolute damnedest. If she was in the wrong place at the wrong time and all of this happened to her, she's not going to shirk her duty. She is going to be the best Inquisitor that she can possibly be. That's why I say a, a cooling breeze on a, on a hot summer's day. And for Dragon Age 4... I want to play someone who is like fire. Also like Amelia, they are consumed by their emotions. However, rather than being emotions of fear, they are emotions of anger. She has been wronged by the world and she will have her revenge by hook or by crook. I must like it here to stay so long. From what I've seen, the Canari don't like anything. That can't be true. They must like some things. Sunshine, butterflies, 
Beanbows? If I spot a canary admiring butterflies, Meryl, you'll be the first person I tell. Indeed. I'd be I'd be very surprised to spot a kunari admiring butterflies. Although I do believe they like cookies, or at least that's that's what I've heard. I removed another bunch of low lives. Good on you, Sarah Hawk. We friends are indeed friends of yours. Oh, oh whoops, I did not want that. I wanted to look at my journal. Uh da -da -da, completed. This would be secondary. Um, or side quests, maybe? Hometown breed, the lowdown, and ladies' nights out. Yeah, so we've done them all. Another time, friend Hawk. Many of them, hopefully. Good stuff. Alrighty then, that is all of the gangs taken care of. And I am just about out of time for this episode. Let me let me just finish what I was saying. Yeah, so for Dragon Age 4, I really want to play someone who's angry. I very rarely do that. I have aggressive characters. I very rarely have angry characters. And I think when stood next to Artin, Amelia, she who shall not be named... I think that would make a really nice collection. We have someone who is emotionally distant, very logical, very professional, all, you know, all of that. We have someone who's constantly scared, but is cracking jokes to cover that. We have the paragon of virtue. And then we have someone who's just constantly angry at the world. I like that as a, as a quartet. I think that'd be cool. Alrighty then. So... In the next episode, we will be doing The Lost Patrol, and then we will be getting started with the companion quests. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.